about to sing to you all. A very merry about to sing to you. All about to sing is a thing that makes us fall into the truth. A very merry about to sing to you all. A very merry about to sing to you all. Well, hey there, Funky hey, Bunch, and uh, welcome back to another installment of A Very Merry Unboxing with the Smiths. Uh, today, we are going to open up, majority of them are going to be these um, Batman Arkham series uh, mystery minis from Funko. I did yeah. also pick up a sci-fi box. Yeah. And, and I think this one, it, the only reason I got this, because I was pretty much done with getting these, because um, it, it's hard to get some of the ones that you still need. The only reason I got this one is because it was, as soon as I picked it up, it's a lot heavier than the rest. So I imagine it's Godzilla. the Godzilla. It could be Iron Giant. Yeah, but I think the Godzilla is the biggest one. Uh, it's definitely heavier than the Alien Queen, so I'm thinking it's Godzilla. So then we fingers have the crossed. Ghostbusters, Titans, yes. Figurine. So we also it has Spangler, Slimer, like Mystery Slimer, Stans, uh, Venkman, Zedmore, um, a, a Mystery Stance, a Ecto One, Janine, Janine, Janine. Zool, the Terror Dog, the Key Master, Gozer, Stay Puff, another Slimer, and a Mystery, um, Stay Puffed and Bankman. So the only reason I got this, um, I, I doubt it's going to be anything good, but uh, I was seeing some posts online where they were talking about the front right box of each case tends to seem to have seems to have a a rare one. So I don't know. We'll find out if if that's the case or not. First, I guess we will uh, crack in. Joshua wants to open that one. So we're going to go ahead and crack into this science fiction mystery mini from Funko and see if we got ourselves the Godzilla, which would be cool because that would go with our big Godzilla pop. Kind of a heavy one, huh? It's kind of torn. It looks like it's torn up. Godzilla! Godzilla! So, that looks cool. So if you guys out there are looking for Godzilla, Gojira, keep in mind he is the heaviest out of the boxes. So if you lift him up and it is noticeably heavier, that is Gojira. Now this works out nicely because like I said, we have the big pop. So now this little one is like he's, uh, he's the, like little... The one that's like the size of a fully grown human. Yeah, like the little baby Godzilla. Um, I can't write... Go, Gojuki. Gojuki is his name. So check him out. He is pretty cool. Joshua, can you check the camera real quick just to see if it's in focus when we're showing this guy around? You don't need to touch it or anything. It's focused. It's focused. Can you see him pretty good? Yeah. So he's really cool. He's really detailed. I think he's a little bit more detailed than the, the pop. actual pop as far as his uh, scales and stuff go. And he's got three rows of spikes down the middle. I, I like this one. This one is awesome looking. My favorite one, I think. Uh, out of the science fiction ones, I really do. Alright, so I'm opening Ghostbusters to get the ones that are just one out. <laughs> so all oh, this is cool. It's, yeah, tight the I don't, it's not a slimer, I can tell that right off just by looking at the bag. Oh, there's a face hugger guy. Yeah, we got that one. Here, open it. Uh, up. So, I'm gonna say this since we're opening a, a Ghostbusters. <gasps> It Slimer. is Slimer! So, anyway, so, Slimer is 1 in 20, and there's another that's 1 in 40. The 1 in 40, I wonder if it's either a glow-in-the-dark or a clear one. I so, don't know. Let me well, see. Since we have this Slimer, one time when we were coming back from Toys R Us or something, we saw the Ecto-1 drive by. Yeah, we have a car in town that's like the Ecto-1. So, this guy, he doesn't, he doesn't look like... He glows in the dark, so I'm guessing he's one of the 1 in 20s instead of the the rare, rare one. But check him out. It's, it's, it's just little Slimer. Arms don't... Oh, yeah, the arms... Oh! The arms do move. Look, you can pose his arms. That's awesome. That's one thing I wish the Mystery Minis uh, were able to do was have pose, uh, a pose, ah, posable, arms. posable arms and legs and stuff. Very Same with cool. the pops, because that would be pretty cool. That makes me happy. 
I either wanted, honest to God, I either wanted Slimer or the Stay Puffed. So, there we go. <laughs> You've been slimed. So, I went with uh, these these two, hang on, no. these two um, mystery mini boxes, the, the Funko and the Titans ones, I picked up at Hot Topic when I grabbed some Pops. Um, but they did not have the, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum Mystery Minis, so I had to get our Arkham series, so I had to get these ones from Toys R Us, so there are no Hot Topic exclusives, but in the regular boxes, they have the Red Hood, they have Scarecrow, and they have Harlequin, um, as well as, you know, the other one, uh, Joker and, uh, Damien, but these three down here... In the Hot Topic boxes are substituted with something else. And I think, think I saw somewhere that even GameStop was going to have some exclusive ones this time. I Don't quote me on that. But um, the only other one I think that I saw that I really wanted was um, Croc. And Croc, Killer Croc, Croc. is going to be heavier. So when I go to Hot Topic or GameStop, whichever has him, when I feel the boxes, uh, whichever is the heaviest one, I'll grab that and then we'll have the full set. The nice thing about these is it's all 1 in 12. So if you buy a box, a case, there's you're, 12 boxes. You're most likely to get all of them. Yeah, unless the store that you purchased it at happened to split two of them into uh, one box to like consolidate space. This is, this is one of the ones I want. I want... Well, there's a lot of Batman, so let's see which one you get. As long as we get all 12, I'll be happy. Because this, I don't know if this was actually a brand new box or if it was one they consolidated. Hopefully, it's a brand new one. So Joshua got... <laughs> Joshua got... Oh, cool. I got the one, one of the ones I was wanting. Um, oh, mom's Harley gonna Quinn. be happy. So, mom's gonna be happy because mom's favorite character is Harley Quinn. So this Batman is standing, fists clenched, ready to kick some bat butt and deliver bat justice. And he's actually the first Batman that's shown on the box. He is. He is cool looking. And now Harley, look at Harley Quinn. She has her pigtails, and she's got like a, a candy cane striped bat, which is really cool. I thought she had a mallet. Well, sometimes she does. Sometimes she has a bat. In the Suicide Squad movie, she's got a bat. And then look at the... She's got the two different colored boots with studs on them. They've got laces on them. And then the dress has lace around the arms, or around the hands, and around the waist. And then she's got her brazier, black and red, and her white cake makeup face. And I like the way the tips of her hair are frosted black and red. That's pretty cool right there. She is a really nice looking figure. But now, what we oh, right on. So we've got Catwoman. And hang on, because I need to show off these ones. So we've got Catwoman, Joshua just pulled. And then I have got. Now, the, the thing with this is, as soon as we get like. Oh, this is the Arkham Knight. This isn't. No, this isn't Batman. This is Arkham Knight. So let me show Catwoman is it, off first. Is it Arkham Knight Batman? Mm -mm. Um, I'm not even sure who it is because we don't play the, the game series. But Catwoman has her uh, full leather outfit, their hair, her ears. Uh, she's got her trademark goggles on the top there. Uh, she's got her clawed hands, which are really kind of cool. Instead of rounded fingers, they're actually pointed claws. And then she's got like... Um, uh, steel knuckles, which are pretty cool, steel reinforced. So oh. her gloves and the suit itself are um, actually kind of look like their chainmail or like a Kevlar cover. She has a zipper in the front with her bustier showing. Look at it, her chestesis are showing. But there, she's she is a pretty cool looking figure too. So and I, if you, if you guys know who Arkham Knight is. Yeah, cause, then, then tell us in the comments. Yeah, in the comments below. I'm not sure who the character is under the Arkham Knight suit, but uh, check that suit out. It's uh, slightly different than Batman's. It's got It looks some, really cool. Yeah, it looks like the ears and stuff could be like communication devices or something. Um, 
I don't know. He's got uh, a helmet with um, looks like blue glass in them. Uh, he's got armor all the way around, um, wrapped in metal with gray. And then I'm not sure what the red symbolizes on the chest and the pants. If that's just uh, something that he wears underneath, or if there's a significance to that. So if you guys know out there. Uh, leave it in the comments below. Uh, maybe it's like a camouflage type thing. I I, I don't know. It'd be cool. Be cool to uh, Dad, be clued in. I, I have a really quick cool question. Mm -hmm. Do Arkham Knight and Batman are like, like they like both heroes or like? No, I think Arkham Knight is like a bad guy because I think Batman has to go up against it. <gasps> Scarecrow. Oh, that's a cool looking figure. That's cool. So then Joshua got Scarecrow. So so far so good. Let me Show you guys. So Scarecrow, he has some sharp pointed nails and fingers. And on this side, he actually has like a robotic hand. Oh. He has like a gas mask type look on his face. He has his hood. Now the and Scarecrow. He um, has like three little syringe things or whatever. Yeah, the Scarecrow uses fear toxins. So on his chest there. You can see oh, he's got like gas toxins. canisters, and the they're I think they're hooked in to the syringes on his fingers, so he can inject them into people. Um, and then he wears the gas mask, so he doesn't get affected by any kind of toxins. That'd be funny if one time he gets affected, he he forgets to put the gas mask on, he shoots it, and then he's like, "Oh no, what's <laughs> happening? Batman's everywhere! No!" He's actually no! done that. Um, he's been affected by his fear toxin before and has actually seen Batman like a giant bat demon. But look at that. Look at, he's that got details, or hang on Joshua. He's got details around his um, hood, the gas mask, and his mouth is really cool. The trench coat's awesome too because it's got tears in the back of it to kind of go along with the motif of his tears in his pants. Awesome. There's some really cool figures in this line. Now this one, oh, classic, all-time Batman villain, <laughs> the Joker. <laughs> Isn't Joker like the original Hello there, villain? Batman. How are you doing, bats? You got some bats in your belfry? Okay, enough, Joker. Do what, Joshua? Is it, wasn't Bat, um, Joker the first Batman villain? Pretty much, yeah. He's, um, he is his main villain, and check him out. He's got his full purple suit with gloves. He's got his, um, yellow, uh, flower that shoots acid and his yellow under, uh, vest. Okay. And he's got a white shirt underneath, because you can see it coming out in between the gloves and the... The uh, hems of his, or the, the sleeves of his jacket. He's got really evil looking smiley face and his gray, green hair. Black shoes or purple, dark, dark purple shoes with some white sticking out. And he's even got a little patch like sewn onto his knee there. So, I thought that, nice. Uh, I thought that the yellow flower was like a taste thing or something. Mm -mm. Poison Ivy. So, oh, Poison Ivy. So, you know, we need Red Hood and Damien and Nightwing, and then the other ones would be Batman. But I'm, I really hope we get... Yeah, Damien is... Um, well, Robin. it's Robin. But Damien is Batman's true son. It's actually his, his real son. He didn't know about him. And then uh, his, the, the lady that he had a child with, uh, Talia Al Ghul, uh, brought him back into the fold to show him. Oh, it's another Batman, but it's a different Batman. So, let me show you this one real quick. Just di same Batman uh, outfit, just a uh, different pose. Actually, I think this one, no, this one's more like an armored uh, bat suit, whereas this one All is more, are different. this one's more his traditional bat suit. Not as much armor into it. There's not any uh, like um, knuckles and stuff in the gloves. Just regular Batman. Uh, and then you have Poison, Poison Ivy. Ivy. Oh, cool. Now, she Poison Ivy, she's got red hair. Um, she's got a like a maroon 
color kind of shirt uh, jacket on. There's just one button, so she's fully exposed. But her skin is covered in vines and leaves. Really cool. I don't know if you can see the detail in the legs and the arms, but it's got a lot of vines and stuff that make up her legs and arms. She's wearing like fig leaves and stuff for her uh, undergarment. And then she is exposing her midriff and her chest area to seduce Batman and seduce any man who comes her way because that's what Poison Ivy does. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. So we'll put her back here. Joshua's going to... I don't get that. <laughs> Joshua's opening... Uh, Nightwing. Oh, Nightwing. Now, Nightwing was the first Robin. Uh, there's been several incarnations of Robin along the years. Nightwing was Dick Grayson. He was the first uh, Robin. He was Batman's first protege. His parents died in a circus uh, accident. And Batman, while well, they were murdered in, in the, the Big Top, and Batman took him in since he lost his parents, just like Batman had lost his parents, and trained him. And over the course of years, he decided he needed to step out of Batman's shadow, became Nightwing. Um, and there have been a couple times where he's had to come back, help Batman out by filling in as Batman um, in the meantime. But after... Uh, Dick Grayson was Jason Todd. He was the one who became Red Hood that we're going to see. And then after him no, I was... Think, I think that most of like the um, Robins have either gone out and done other things mm -hmm. to be superheroes or just turn into superheroes. Because after Jason Todd, Jason Todd was beaten and almost killed by the Joker. Um... And then uh, there came Tim Drake, and Tim Drake became Red Robin, and then now Damien is the new Robin. But here is Nightwing in his full Nightwing gear, good old Dick Grayson. He's got blue and black, and he's got his, um, his own style of mask across the front. Kind of looks like a bird or a night, uh, a bird, night bird, night wing with his... his um, wings coming up along and he's got his two um, staffs kind of uh, like bow staffs in a way but little half staffs so kind of maybe like uh, police coupon type things uh, and it looks like they have some electrical uh, tase stuff in the ends of them neat looking figure so we'll see what we got here if we got red, or, I was gonna say red robin but red robin not in there if we got um, Red Hood. I don't think we I got just, Red Hood. I just realized something about Slimer. Oh, it is. It's Red Hood. Hi, check that out. We're talking about these ones now. So, Red Hood, just fully red hood <laughs> with a red mask underneath. You can see some silver on the sides for um, like... Uh, um, gas mask again. Yeah, maybe gas mask. Maybe it's just like silver... Uh, rivets to hold the mask together, but if you look at his chest, there's kind of like a uh, red diamond or almost looks like a, it could be a bat symbol in a way. Um, it's just like a, a red diamond with a, a stripe across it. Um, and then he's got some knee pads, he's got his two guns, because Red Robin, Jason Todd, ended up going where Batman doesn't. He uses guns, he uses lethal force. Uh, he's gotten away from it a little bit since he first came into the comic scene, but there he is, Red Hood. Cool, cool. We have last Batman. The last Batman. Batman. And that Batman, let's see. Oh, okay, so this particular Batman that Joshua just pulled is a third pose. He's... Uh, Kind of standing, he's got the, the knuckles and everything that this Batman here did, but he's got a, a matte black finish on his cowl, and he's got, it's just kind of like a combination of these two in a way. It's like regular Batman, Batman with some armor on, and then Batman with full armor on. But here's this one here. Just give you guys a look, regular Batman, different outfit. There you go. And then this last one then should be uh, Damien. Robin. 
If it is not Robin, I am going to be so upset because we will have gotten everything but one. Oh my goodness, Tanner. He is... Tanner's like looking at him. It is Damien Robin! Oh, I am so happy we actually pulled <laughs> Damien Robin. That, this is like, I think, the one that Dad wanted most. Yes, da uh, Damien is actually my favorite Robin out of all of them. Um, you know, next to uh, Dick Grayson, uh, Damien is just a smart mouth, kick butt attitude. He started out as a kind of like a villain because he was trained by his mother and uh, the League of Assassins. So he originally did kill and stuff, and he um, met up with his father, Talia Agul, brought him to Batman to help Damien train, and so he took him on, realized it's his son, um, and now he's becoming pretty bad in his own right. Um, very, very cool. I love the way this figure looks. He's got his hood, he's got his cowl, his cape, um, and then he's got his red and green outfit. This one has some black in with the pants, the green um, gloves and boots are covered with metal, um, gray, um, um, what are they, band, um, uh, band? No, <laughs> ah, why is my mind blank? Um, pads, like the armor pads, to help protect against his, his wrists, his arms, and his legs. And he's got his long bow staff, he's got his trade, uh, Robin bat belt here, and then his little R on the chest with some padding and stuff in the lining of the shirt. So, fantastic. I am very pleased with the way this entire line came out. Um, you guys out there, if you happen to know what the GameStop exclusives or um, if they're doing them, or the Hot Top exclusives are, before we happen to see them, leave it down in the comments below so I know which ones to keep my eyes out for aside from Croc, which, <laughs> like I said, is going to be the heaviest. I just noticed something about huh. Slimer. Yeah, I said it no butt. It's Slimer does have a little like butt. right there. <laughs> it's got a little Slima butt. So that is cool. So awesome. Very happy with this line. I'd be interested to know uh, what you guys think about it. Be sure to leave those comments down below. If you did enjoy the video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, show us that you liked it. Um, follow us, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. And as always, if you have not already done so, please click the subscription button and uh, tell your friends about us and have them come and watch our channel as well. If they enjoy it, have them click the subscription button and help us grow. We are closing in on 900 subscribers. Soon as we get that, we'll do another giveaway for our 900 subscriber video. I think we're about 8 subscribers away, so you guys can help us get there. And uh, then we're going to be creeping up on 1,000. Can you believe that? 1,000 subscribers? No. I didn't ever think we'd actually hit 500, let alone 1,000. So I I didn't really think that we were just when we started YouTube. I wanted to start it, start it for, ever since I was little, and my mom said no. So when Dad brought up we want to start, I want to start YouTube with the kids. I was like yes, and then I was like, you know what? We're just beginners. I don't even think if we're gonna be that good of a channel, yeah. and we've almost reached a thousand. So thank you all for your support. We couldn't have gotten here without you. We appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, uh, we bid you a farewell. And we'll see you next time on the next installment of... A Very Merry Unboxing. Cheers! Shut up! Oh. Ow! Again? Again? <laughs> ah! There's the one th <laughs> Help me up! There's the one thing about this... Uh... Oh, man. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Come.